Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. You think you're trading fast switch fibers? Think again. You've been lied to. The so-called fitness and longevity experts, including Peter Atia and his incredible 80-20 rule, have completely missed the most important piece of the puzzle. And if you keep following their advice, you're going to age just like everyone else, losing speed, losing power, and losing the very thing that keeps you young. Let's talk about the problem with the 80-20 rule. Peter Atia and other longevity experts tell you to do 80% endurance training and 20% high intensity training. But here's the truth, 20% is absolutely not enough, not even close. If you follow that, you're setting yourself up for failure because it's not just about having fast switch fibers. It's about whether your brain can actually activate them. People think that as long as they lift heavy weights, sprint, and do some occasional explosive exercises, they will maintain their fast switch fibers. But they're missing one critical fact. Fast switch fibers and fast motor units are useless without the firing rates that control them. So what exactly are firing rates? Think of them as the speed at which your brain sends signals to your muscles. The faster your brain fires these signals, the faster and more explosively your muscles can contract. Think of it like electricity flowing through a wire. If the signal is strong and fast, the light bulb turns on instantly at full brightness. But if the signal is weak and slow, the light flickers, struggles, and eventually dims. This is exactly what happens to your muscles when your firing rates decline. Your body still has the wiring, the muscle fires. But if the brain isn't sending signals fast enough, those muscles won't react in time, and that's when you lose speed, power, and explosive movement. But here's the problem. Firing rates naturally decline as you age. If you don't specifically train them, your brain slows down, your muscles react slower, and eventually, your fast switch fibers become useless, no matter how strong they are. It's like having a high-performance sports car with a dead ignition. Your engine is there, but it won't start fast enough when you need it to. Peter Atia and other longevity experts push the 80-20 rule, 80 endurance cardio zone 2 training, and 20 high intensity resistance training or HIT. But this ratio is completely inadequate for preserving fast switch fibers and their firing rates. So why is it the 20% high intensity is not enough to offset the 80% cardio? Cardio reinforces slow twitch dominance. If you spend 80% of your time training for endurance, your body adapts by prioritizing slow twitch muscle function and reducing high threshold motor unit activation. High threshold is the fast motor units. In addition, cardio does not train firing rates. Even if it keeps the cardiovascular system healthy, it does nothing for neuromuscular speed and explosive capacity. Firing rates decline if not stimulated frequently. If fast twitch fibers aren't being activated explosively and repeatedly, they transition, they turn towards slower characteristics. 20% high intensity is not enough of a stimulus. Two workouts per week or a few sprints sprinkled will not compensate for the constant neuromuscular downregulation caused by excessive endurance training. Now here's the reality. You need more than just some high intensity training. First of all, firing rates must be trained regularly, not just occasionally. Explosiveness requires frequent high speed activation across multiple movement patterns. Your brain will prioritize what you train it the most. If 80% of your training is slow, your nervous system will slow down. So yes, 20% high intensity training is nowhere near enough to offset the damage done by 80% endurance work. What no one is telling you about firing rates. Fast twitch fibers don't just die off because you stop lifting heavy or sprinting. They disappear because your firing rates deteriorate. Your brain literally stops sending the quick signals needed to activate those fibers. And once that happens, it's over. Those fibers transition into slower, weaker fibers and eventually vanish. So, even if you train fast twitch muscles with heavy squats, deadlifts, power cleans, you're not actually training the rate at which those fibers fire. It's like owning a high-performance sports car by letting the engine rust. 
you still have the car, but it won't perform. Here's why traditional strength training fails. Strength training alone does not train firing rates. Even if you're lifting heavy or doing explosive movements, if you're not training the brain and nervous system to fire signals rapidly, your muscles are losing their ability to function at high speeds. Think about it for a second. How many people in the gym can still sprint like they, they do in their 20s? How many power lifters can react quickly? They might be strong, but their neuromuscular system is deteriorating because they're not training the speed of, of activation. Here's the truth about fast twitch preservation. If you really want to maintain your youth, your power, and your ability to move like an athlete at any age, you need to do much more than just heavy lifting or occasional high-intensity training. You need to train firing rates in multiple ways, from multiple angles, with multiple types of neuromuscular stimulation. This means sprinting, but also incorporate lateral rotational like that a curved sprinting you need to do plyometrics but not just box jump reactive depth jumps rotational jumps single leg bounds You need to do the upper body fast with training, ballistic push-ups, fingertip drills, you need to incorporate oscillatory contractions. and proprioceptive movements to force the nervous system to maintain high speed activation. The bottom line, it is more than likely that no one is training fire rates properly the entire fitness industry, even the so-called longevity experts, are missing the most crucial piece of the puzzle. You are not aging because your muscles are getting weaker. You are aging because your nervous system is slowing down. So if you really want to stay young, stay powerful, and move like an athlete into your 60s, 70s, and 80s, and maybe even beyond, you need to change the way you train. Stop listening to outdated advice. Stop following the crowd. Start training the way your body actually needs. I will close with these words. I have most respect for Mr. Atia. I have a lot of, I made a lot of shorts, videos about him. I have the utmost respect. But the question is, let me see you move, Mr. Atia. He can't. He can't move explosively with speed, agility. So how is his 80-20 actually keeping you young? He is speeding up your aging process. 80-20 speeds up the aging process. He's not helping people thrive. He's helping people survive. If you want to do what he's doing, go right ahead. I wish you all the best. I'm coming with another video to go even further into this because you need to do the opposite. You need to do 20-80, not 80-20. Elite endurance athletes that have been doing this their whole life, they are suffering from knee pains, feet pain, uh, hips, they move slow. I mean, they suffer from pain. How can you be that deluded 
to tell me that your VO2 max is still good. If VO2 max is so good, how come you suffer from pain? This is what caused you to reduce your exercise capacity because you can't move no longer like you did in your prime. You felt good in your prime. Oh, I got an 80, I got a 90 VO2 max. I got a cell, I got a leap VO2 max. Okay, when you're young, when you're young, what's it doing for you when you're 50, 60, 70 and beyond? You're in pain. You can't move like you used to. So what happens when exercise capacity is reduced? It's a chain reaction. Your entire body is destroyed. Gradually, gradually because of the lack of movement. Anyway, have a wonderful day. I have another video coming next that's going to go even deeper. See you soon.